In September this year, MES introduced a limit on an individual's total unsecured debt, total unsecured debt meaning across financial institutions. This new limit will come into effect in June 2015, so we are giving it some time to be faced in. We set the limit at 12 months income for a start, so as to give borrowers who are already over leveraged time to adjust. For instance, according to Credit Counselling Singapore, the average debt level of individuals seeking its help exceeds 24 months of their income. MAS expects financial institutions to work actively with their affected customers to take steps to bring down their unsecured debt levels. MAS will monitor the situation and is prepared to lower the limit over time if necessary. The 12-month limit is, however, not the only safeguard against borrowers accumulating too much debt. We also introduced other policy changes for credit cards and unsecured credit facilities in September, which take effect progressively from December this year, so they, they kick in earlier. One of the key changes is to require financial institutions to review a borrower's total debt and credit limits with all financial institutions before granting a new credit card or unsecured credit facility or increasing the credit limit on such facilities. This will ensure that financial institutions do not extend unsecured credit to an individual beyond the limit of 12 months income. So we are taking some time to bring into effect the rules for existing borrowers, some of whom are significantly overextended, but when it comes to new facilities and new loans, uh, the effect of our new rules is to start curbing it early. Ultimately, everyone has to take personal responsibility for their own finances and not get into debt servicing obligations that leave them with little buffer in their incomes. The Money Sense National Financial Education Program has stepped up its education of consumers on the factors to consider before taking a debt.